All right. Dior's here. I didn't think I'd be doing this uh, video. This is a response video for uh, a message that somebody left on my previous video. Um, the update on my Winchester shotgun. Uh, the guy's name was Richard DeVox. I believe it's spelled Delta Echo Victor Alpha Uniform X-Ray. Richard DeVox. And he's asking me a question uh, about the parts list that he used for making the shotgun. And unfortunately, Richard, and for anybody else who has questions, uh, where I got my parts from and, you know, if I could provide links or, you know, a specific list. Unfortunately, I cannot at this time. Uh, I found out that some of these parts, these aftermarket accessories that I got for the shotgun, they're no longer manufacturing. Uh, case in point, this buttstock for this particular shotgun is no longer being manufactured anymore. This particular buttstock was made by ATI. They don't make this anymore. They make a, a slightly different modified version of it that is not compatible for the shotgun. All of the, the uh, buttstock accessories that ATI makes that would be quote unquote compatible for the shotgun are actually made to uh, factory attached to a Mossberg 500 with zero adapters. And the adapters that are made specific for this shotgun, so like here's an adapter right here, you know, that kind of V's in with the receiver, kind of like the old factory receiver, you know, the, well, I should say the old factory wooden stock for receiver, the V's in, notches in, and matches up, meets up right here. If I didn't have this adapter, this by itself would actually, uh, that would actually uh, mock up to a uh, regular Mossberg 500 series shotgun. They don't make this stock anymore. They discontinued it. And the reason why I went with this is because it was specific for this gun. It was it was adaptable for this gun, the Remington 870, and the Mossberg 500. And this stock was actually cheaper. I think at the time when I bought it, I think the stock ran me, I want to say $55. Whereas the other one, although you know there, there's another one, like I said, that's... It is compatible with the 500 series, uh, Mossberg 500 series shotguns. It is not compatible with the shotgun. I think that one was run for 75. Now, <clears throat> this foregrip here, that's another universal accessory, also made by ATI. That was 25 bucks at the time when I bought it three years ago. I actually bought this at Cabela's, and I think they're still making this. I'm not 100% certain, <clears throat> so you can still find that, but this I had to buy online, and I don't even remember which website I went to, I have no idea at this point, I don't know if I went to ATI directly, but uh, last year I was actually trying to see if I could find another buttstock like this, another one exactly like this, and I cannot find another one, cannot. Which leads, I even went on to ATI's website directly, and I had, I do not see the stock anywhere. I don't even have, unfortunately, I don't even have the model number for the stock because I threw away the box. I wish I didn't at this point in time because I kind of would have liked to have had another one. Because I would have liked to have done a uh, <coughs> another Winchester clone shotgun like I did on this one. Winchester Defender clone. <coughs> but... You know, that's that's the unfortunate thing. So, not gonna be able to find that anywhere. It, it sucks. But yeah, this is that this is that six point adjustable stock telescoping stock. Very similar to an AR fifteen M four style stock <clears throat> as far as the functionality and the feel goes. But yeah. It, yeah, I'm sorry, but you ain't going to find that anywhere. Now, I did find some regular Mossberg 500 uh, telescoping stocks on eBay, but they're not made by ATI. They're made by a different manufacturer. The problem is, is trying to find this adapter. 
All you need is this adapter. If you find this adapter, this adapter will mate to any stock. Like I said, understand this stock by itself without this adapter can mount directly to a Mossberg shotgun with no, no special hardware or anything like that. It'll mount to it straight on. The problem is, is finding this adapter and then finding the appropriate screw with the correct number of threads that'll feed in here and sandwich all this together, you know, tie it all together. <clears throat> uh, this heat shield, I don't remember who makes this. I really don't. I forget what website I went to to find this heat shield. To my knowledge, this heat shield still being made. This is a fiberglass reinforced heat shield. If you were uh, if you're going to look for this heat shield, you want to build this shotgun yourself or try to build something similar. I would just uh, tie, you know, I would just do a, a, a just a regular online search. Just type in uh, Paul. Uh, Polymer fiberglass reinforced heat shield for Winchester Defender or Winchester 1200 or Winchester 1300. Got to keep in mind, these shotguns have been discontinued for, uh, at this point in time, for about 17 years. They have not, there's not been a shotgun of any kind as far as this model, making model is concerned, manufactured since 2006 this particular shotgun because this one's a uh, when it started out as a winchester ranger they actually discontinued this one in 1986 but the entire the entire line of winchester shotguns that were made by i believe it was at u.s arms though those were all discontinued in 2006 like all versions okay <clears throat> so you're gonna have a hell of a time trying to find these parts the uh, next hardest part is going to to find is going to be this tube extension magazine tube magazine extension, which gives you three additional rounds of ammunition carrying capacity. I know initially in my first video I made a mistake. I, I you know when I was loading up the shotgun I thought I could only get so many rounds to fit in that tube magazine, but as it turns out I was actually able to get one more round in there. If you're loading this. Again, with just the short two and three quarter inch shells, not the three inch magnums, the two and three quarter inch shells, you can get eight in this tube magazine with that three round extension. You can actually get eight in this tube magazine plus one in the chamber, which is pretty damn phenomenal for a tube fed pump action shotgun that's, you know, doesn't have a detachable box magazine. Okay. <clears throat> This is made by Choate, this uh, tube magazine extension, okay? Choate, I don't remember the website where I got that from. I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'm going to see if I can't find anything real quick on that. Okay, I believe, I'm not 100% certain, I believe the website that I got that tube magazine extension from was thecountryshed.com. But I'm not 100% certain on that. But the actual manufacturer for this tube magazine, and this is the original packaging... This is the old two magazine extension I had on there. This is a Tax Star. This is just a two rounder extension. <clears throat> but Choate is the actual manufacturer and says Choate Machine and Tool Incorporated. I got a P.O. Box 218 slash 116 Lover's Lane, Bald Knob, Arkansas. Zip code is 72010-0218. And I got a phone number, uh, 501 for the area code, 724-6193. And the fax is 501-724-5873. Uh, I don't know... I, I'm assuming order. I'm sure, assuming that's the order phone number. I, I don't know. It says ORD. And then it's 1 800 972 6390. I hope that helps you if you're trying to look for this particular one. They do also make <coughs> longer 
like I said, they do make longer uh, two magazine extensions. But like this one right here, it says eight shot. But basically, um, it just, like I said, extended my two magazine three additional rounds just long enough to basically cram eight shotgun shells into the two magazine. My suggestion, and this is for anybody, if you're going to be buying any two magazine extensions, before you cut this barrel down, before you cut this barrel down, before you do any modifications to your shotgun, you better know you better know the laws. You better know your state laws in regards to being able to do maintenance and modifications to your own firearms because you can rest assured some states it's illegal. Like, for instance, Massachusetts is illegal to perform maintenance or modifications to your own weapons without being a licensed uh, gunsmith, which, you know, Liberty Doll can attest to that. It's a ridiculous law. It's stupid. But that that is, you know, like I so said, that's the deal. The other thing, too, the other reason why you want to make sure you order your freaking two magazine extension first is so that way you get the one that's the correct length. Like I said, this uh, this shotgun barrel used to be 28, is there 28 or 28 and a half inches long? I chopped it down to, I believe, 20 and a half inches for this uh, two magazine extension. I waited for this two magazine extension to arrive. <laughs> before I start cutting this barrel down. <coughs> this barrel is 100% within legal limits. From the end of this receiver to the end of the barrel is 21 and a half inches. So, well within legal limits. <coughs> legal, federal minimum legal limits for a shotgun to be considered class 1 sporting gun before it's Classified as an AOW class three AOW that needs registration. In order for that, you know, like I said, uh, the shotgun barrel has to be a minimum of uh, at least eighteen inches or longer. Like I said, I'm well within legal limits as far as the shotgun goes. And like I said, I waited to get this two magazine extension before I said I want to cut that barrel down. Um, I think somebody there's another manufacturer that manufactures. Two magazine extensions. I don't think Tackstar still makes these two magazine extensions anymore. Uh, there was another one. I forget the name now. The name literally slips in my mind, but I didn't find it to be really that quality of a two magazine extension. This right here is a piece of single lim uh This is a piece of single bar stock aluminum that's been machined out. Uh, there's some of these that are kind of like a flimsy rolled uh sheet aluminum which i'm not real impressed with which i never bought you know i'm not sure if it's nord or nord star that makes them or i think tactus cactus tactical is another one that makes them i'm not real impressed with those but i'm telling you if you're going to do any barrel modifications and you want your barrel to match up with the length of your two magazine extension do not cut the barrel down until you get the two magazine extension in hand so you know you can have a appropriately sized barrel with your two magazine extension uh for the there's a flashlight mount and the flashlight i got those off of amazon i believe the flashlight itself it's the the brand is called feichi it's spelled F E Y C H A I. It's Fei Chi or something like that. It's it's uh, some Chinese brand flashlight. And not really too particular. I don't really care because it was it was like a forty fifty dollar flashlight. It's not you know nothing fancy, nothing super spectacular, but it does come with a remote power switch. And it also comes with a regular tail cap if you don't want the power switch, you know, the remote power switch. But, they're, they're, like I said, this uh, mount for this flashlight is universal. It actually attaches in between the barrel and the tube magazine. And itself, by itself, actually kind of acts like a barrel brace. This barrel brace in particular actually did come with this uh, tube magazine, which was nice. So, you know... 
hopefully won't have to buy that. But that's about all I can say for those parts. <clears throat> On that previous video, what wasn't here was this uh, glow in the dark XL big dot sight and this weaver rail. Those parts were still. I was still waiting on those parts to get shipped over here. I was still, they were still on order. I think those ended up arriving about a week later after, or no, it might have been three days later after I got done filming that video. But I actually had to custom tap <coughs> the holes, <coughs> the holes for this upper receiver to mount. Sorry, not upper receiver. I had to custom tap the holes in this receiver to mount this uh, weaver rail. Okay. <clears throat> this weaver rail is just a generic aluminum weaver rail that I got off of eBay. It it's uh, actually, believe it or not, this is actually machined out for a Mossberg 500 or 590 series shotgun, uh, and I've got that mounted to my Winchester. I believe this was twenty or twenty five on eBay, and to my knowledge, they still make these. You can still find them. This XL big dot <coughs> glow in the dark sight that glues over your original bead sight, factory bead sight. <coughs> Those are 75 on opticsplant.com. That's where I got that one. That was 75 for that front sight. But Amazon, I've seen them on Amazon. It's just <coughs> it's a partial sights kit. It doesn't come with everything that you need. The one they sell on Amazon, it's also an XL Big Dot site. It's about half the price, but it doesn't come with the uh, <coughs> it doesn't come with the drill bit. It also doesn't come with the uh, thread cutting bit for the the front bead site. All it comes with is just this site by itself that glues on over the original. Okay, that's it. You know, there's no replacement bead site. But that was those were like thirty two on Amazon. Okay. <coughs> <clears throat> and then this bandolier sling just a generic bandolier sling it's made by ace <coughs> uh, ace.com that's what the tag says but I found this on Amazon I believe that's $25 for the sling and I believe that price is still the same it hasn't changed yet so I hope this helps you uh, like I said I, I hope to eventually you know, I, I pick up another one of these shotguns at a gun show, hopefully find one that's kind of in somewhat rough shape, because <clears throat> I'd like to strip it down and refinish it and make it into a tactical shotgun, but I think if a person's going to do that, they're going to ha probably have to stick with the original wood furniture, which isn't a bad thing, because I think the next one I'm going to do is probably going to just have the original wood furniture. I'll just have a shortened barrel with a uh, friggin' uh, with a heat shield on it and an extended tube magazine that will you know and like i said with the flat jet black uh cerakote finish it'll look pretty pretty sweet <coughs> i probably maybe refinish the stocks you know either do like a darker color you know <coughs> i don't know kind of like that I kind of, I think I kind of like the, uh, you know, the the dark black against like a light wood finish, personally. But you know, I, I don't know. Like so you're gonna have it all the time. The the biggest thing is you're not gonna be able to find this. This I I cannot find this stock anywhere. I've looked, cannot find it. So sorry. I hope this helps you there, uh, Richard. And for anybody else who has questions. Um, you might get lucky. I just search around eBay, but like I said, ATI used to make the stock, but they don't make it anymore. To my knowledge, I can't find it anywhere. <clears throat> That's going to be the biggest thing. To my knowledge, they're still making this, but pretty much all the other ex aftermarket accessories that they're making for the Winchester shotguns are for the newer Winchester shotguns, which are the, uh, I believe they call them the Winchester SXPs. Those are the ones that are manufactured in Turkey. They're the modernized, updated versions of the older Winchester Defender and Winchester Ranger shotguns. 
<coughs> they're actually pretty sweet looking shotguns. <coughs> but yeah, I, I like I, said, I understand if you got a tired old shotgun that you you love it, but you don't want to get rid of it, but you'd like to, you know, kind of update it, make it look a little tactical. I understand. But yeah, unfortunately, because these shotguns haven't been in production in like 17 years, like I'm talking about any variation of the shotgun. <coughs> unfortunately, you're not going to really find anything. Uh, like I said, they they're they're slowly discontinuing all the aftermarket accessories. Yeah, you might even have a hard time finding this. To my knowledge, they're still making this. This, like I said, this front foregrip. <coughs> And that particular foregrip, again, it's made by ATI. It's uh, it's a universal foregrip made for both the Mossberg series shotguns, the Remington 870 shotguns, and the older Winchester, Winchester Defender, Winchester 1200, Winchester 1300, and, you know, obviously Winchester Model 120 shotguns. <coughs> Uh, pretty much anything that's made for the Winchester 1200, 1300, and Defender Series shotgun, most of the aftermarket accessories will fit onto any Winchester Ranger Winchester Model 120 shotgun. But again, like I said, this is an oddball shotgun that's not been in production in years. No, yeah. Uh, I, I wish you the best of luck. I hope this helps you out. I'm sorry. I hadn't been much help. But uh, that's the best I can do, man. All right. That's all I got. I'm Dior, and I'm out. You guys have yourselves a good one. Bye-bye.